Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my room tour. If you've been following my channel, you've seen that I've been doing a big room transformation over the last little bit, and it's finally finished and I'm ready to show you guys everything that is in my room, how I've organized it, how I decorated it, and anything else that I think you guys would be interested in knowing. Also, if you haven't yet seen my last video, I cut my hair in that video, so if you wanna check that out, I'll link it above for you. But in all of my other transformation for my room videos, I have long hair, so if you're confused, that is why. I just got it cut and colored a lot lighter, so if you wanna see that, definitely check it out. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so when you first walk into my room, the first thing that you see is actually this on the wall right here. I got this from Target um, a couple years ago when we moved into the house. I just thought it was really cute. And then on the back of the door, I actually have this jewelry organizer and it has a mirror on it. And then in here, I just have some jewelry. This is more of like the jewelry I wear a little less often. You'll see where I keep my like frequently worn jewelry in a minute. But then right here, I just have on a command hook the purse that I'm using right now. So it's just a Vera Bradley purse. And then I have it hung on a silver command hook. Um, you'll see that frequently used in my room. I use a lot of command things. Then I have this really big collage wall that takes up most of this wall. And I just got all these pictures off of Pinterest and then used the same Lightroom filter on them all to kind of give them a similar look. And then above that, I have these vines that I also pinned little butterflies onto. And I got the butterflies just from this little like bouquet that my mom had had that she bought um, that was like fresh flowers. They obviously went bad, but I kept the butterflies and put them in that. Then you'll see my little like music station. So I just have this record rack that is from Urban Outfitters. And so is my record player. This is also from Urban Outfitters. And then I just have a couple vinyls down here. This is my newest one and I'm obsessed with it. I got this in a shopping video that I did recently actually. Then I have my full size mirror. Um, it's just a black frame. I got this for like $5 from Target a couple years ago. And then I have a little basket that I roll up some blankets into. One of them's currently missing because I am washing it, but um, that normally would go right here. But I just keep like three throw blankets in there. Then if you go this way, you can see I have this little like hanging shelf that we put up and then hanging plants from it. The shelf was honestly just put there to be able to hang the plants. It used to be what I put my DVD player on in our old house, but I can't really hang hanging plants from a angled ceiling. So we used it to put the hanging plants on. Then I have this um, picture, it's from Target and it's actually two pictures that go together and they're from Target as well. If you can't see a trend, I like Target. Um, then we have my bed. So the bed frame is from Wayfair and then the comforter, it's actually a duvet cover, and then the two white pillows with the tufts on the end, those are from Urban Outfitters. Then the blanket and the decorative pillows are all from Target. Then if you come over here, this is my nightstand. This is also from Wayfair and so is my dresser. Then you've got this is just a coaster for the college I go to. I got it from the bookstore. Um, and then I have my glasses. And then these decorations are from Target. Then I also have these cute little Polaroids that we took last weekend, me and my boyfriend, and then my parents and two of our dogs. This lamp is from either Bed Bath & Beyond or Target. I can't remember because I've had it for a while. But I got the filler stuff down here from, I believe, Hobby Lobby. So it's just like quartz and some kind of like sea glass and I just put that in down there. Then I have this charging bank that does my phone, my watch, and I can also put my AirPods back here and that's from Amazon. And then I also have my camera battery charger. And then I put back here this, um, I think it's called a surge protector where I plug in like all of my stuff and that just plugs back behind my bed back there. But I figured that was a good place to kind of hide it. And I also 
command stripped it to the um, window seal so it won't fall down. So if you can see, I can like not really take it off. Um, and then I usually just plug my laptop up down here. Um, and then in these drawers, I'm not going to open these drawers just because they're like not very neat. But this one is kind of like my, you know, nighttime stuff. So I have like any vitamins that I take, I put them in there so I can just take them in the morning. I have a lighter for my candles, all of my TV remotes, my remotes for my um, LED lights, and just like some random other things. My glasses go in there sometimes. This drawer is just like the snacks and candy drawer. And then this drawer I'll open, but it's overflowing with bathing suits right now because I haven't fully went through them yet. I have too many, but this is like bikini tops, bottoms, and then one pieces. And then if you look under my bed, I have um, oh, under here, this is actually a rolling storage that I put extra shoes into. So if you guys can see that back there. Then I have a little bit of scrapbooking supplies under there, if you can see that. Then I've got a few card games and some stuff to make bracelets. Then this little like DVD holder thing that just has a bunch of movies in it. Then this drawer, I have two under bed storage drawers. This holds all of my movies and TV shows that I have on DVD. So we've got... One Tree Hill, all the seasons, some of the seasons of The Office, um, every season of Full House. I got this when I was younger. My parents bought it for me because I loved that show. I've got all of Harry Potter, The Hunger Games. I have The First Maze Runner, Divergent, um, the Percy Jackson movies, Twilight, all of that. I've got Game of Thrones on DVD and the original Charmed on DVD in like the book that they have. So I just think that's really cool. Um, and then I just have some like um, one-off movies and stuff. The next drawer is right here. This one has like my art supplies and the little bit of school supplies I have for my summer class. So this is like a painting that I'm working on, um, some notebooks, um, calligraphy stuff, sketch paper, all of that kind of stuff is in here. to the right of my nightstand is kind of like the Dixie zone so she's got her crate with her bed in it and she actually loves going in there and just like hanging out that's why I leave this door open for her most of the time then I usually just put her dog food above that just because there's nowhere else for it to fit I wanted it under the bed but it's a little bit too tall then I have her food and water bowl in here and then like I said that other painting then we have my bookshelf and I also have this little like geometric looking thing that I got from home goods or at home a couple years ago when we moved in here then I've got my Harry Potter shelf I'm in the process of getting all the hardback Harry Potters I'm like two away then I've got my like romance shelf and then this pumpkin bourbon candle that came from TJ Maxx this shelf is a little bit more of like my miscellaneous fiction and then I also have a couple of music books that I never got rid of when we moved and I don't have a piano anymore but I'm hoping to get one eventually um, and then I just have this fake candle right here too then if you go down a shelf this is like my fantasy books um, and then I also have this terrarium that is once again from Target and then down here I have dystopian books so I've got the Hunger Games this book that I haven't read yet but I heard is really good it's called Legend and then I have the first five Percy Jackson books and then down here I have some more miscellaneous books plus my selection series my Nana is currently borrowing the second two books in the series so the elite and the one so they're not there right now but normally they would be and then I also have matched down here too because it's kind of got a similar vibe to these okay so then if we go to the right of the bookshelf you have my desk and my Alex 9 drawers and my big mirror hi um, so let's start at the top so this here these vinyls were a DIY that I did I just bought um, vinyls from a half price books for like a dollar a piece and painted them if you want to see that it's in one of my room transformation videos and I'll link it for you then I hung these vines behind my mirror with little command hooks to hold them up 
And then this um, canvas is just from at home. I got it for like $15. Then if you go to my first Alex 9 drawer unit, I've got a salt lamp up here plus a little perfume display. So I've got my One Direction perfume that I refuse to ever use all of it because I just don't want to get rid of it. And then I have my flower balm and all of these came in a little like Christmas set. Then I've got my drawers, which I'll show you what's in them. I have not relabeled them yet, but I really need to because if you're going to organize, you should definitely label things so you can find them easily. But in here, I have like sketch pencils. So these are all like colored pencils and like drawing pencils. And then I just have a couple pairs of sunglasses in here because I didn't have anywhere else to put them. And a couple, well, not a couple, a lot of calligraphy pens that are double sided. So one side is a brush pen and one side is just like a fine tipped pen. This drawer has like paint supplies, so paint brushes, paint mixers. Then I have scissors, um, a box of crayons, some adhesive, so I have spray adhesive and like a liquid one, and then some tape and glue. This drawer has lots of markers, so I've got like regular markers, little like short ones, expo markers, a couple of just like miscellaneous office supplies, and then more of those. Um, like brush pens, but these are not double-sided. This drawer has all of my electronic stuff, so my cords, my watch bands, um, chargers for like my speaker, my um, external hard drive for YouTube, phone cases, all of that is in here, and it's about as organized as I can get it. This drawer has my like smaller paints and water paints or yeah, watercolor paints. So this is watercolor under there's watercolor. I have these little palettes that are just in here. Um, the paint by number I'm currently working on, I put the paints back there. And then I have this two trays of smaller paint um, just right there. This is the first of the bigger drawers and this has my taller paints so I tried to kind of organize them so these are the ones that you get from like Hobby Lobby or Walmart just little like tubes these are the ones that come in a set and then I have this um, wooden palette that just goes right on top of there this next drawer has like adult coloring books and any unopened paint by numbers that I have oh this drawer is a little miscellaneous. It's got my laptop case and then some stuff for work, um, samples from a job I used to do, my speaker, my label maker, and this extra laptop that I have. And then the bottom drawer is just like all different kinds of paper. Sorry, Dixie's under here playing with a toy, if you can hear that. She really likes that spot, and she always messes with those little vines. But basically, I've got like printer paper, graph paper, notebook paper, um, photo paper, and some note cards, and then these like decorative papers. This is like thank you cards, or just like cards. And then I have all the different types of post-its. I've got little tabs, so I can do these for my books. And then I have some washi tape in different colors. Underneath my desk real quick. I have this rose gold trash can. I do put a bag on it So you can't see like half of the trash can and then this is my desk chair Super comfortable. It's like a rose color and I have this um, Like beige pillow in it. It's really comfy. It's like a kind of velvety material and then it has a gold bottom with wheels It's so comfortable to sit in Then Dixie has her dog toy crate right here. She just drug out a couple of toys, but all of her toys go in this rose gold bin that is from Target or Bed Bath & Beyond. I can't really remember which, but if you go up to the top of my desk, we've got, um, so this is just like frequently used pens and pencils or like highlighters and things like that. 
Then I just have some makeup palettes that I've been using recently. So I've got Mercury Retrograde, the Morphe X Maddie Ziegler palette, and then my Tati Beauty palette, which I use today. Then I have my midliner highlighters that I use quite a bit when I'm bullet journaling or just like doing school. And then I have these three little containers with rose gold office supplies in them. Those are from the dollar section at Target. Then over here I have my magnifying mirror to do my makeup in and just a rose gold that matches the other containers with a lot of makeup brushes. This set of drawers is my second set of Alex 9 drawers. So on the top I have this little box that is from at home and so is this plant back here. This box I put some of my earrings in, the ones that I wear more frequently, they're just in there. Then the top drawer has like hair tools, so like hot tools and stuff. This drawer is like my face products for my makeup, so I've got foundations and concealer, beauty sponges, setting spray, some more setting spray, um, this oil that I use for eczema on my arm, it's a little travel size mini, and then I have some powders and a um, primer. And then I also have this that I use almost every day on my face. It's got an SPF and it's a moisturizer, so I use that pretty often. And then I have these little oil blotting sheets so that I don't get too greasy because it's summertime now, so we're going to be sweating and stuff. Then I have my eye products drawer. So this is another, like... Um, skin and like manicuring your face type of thing like it has a lot of different tweezers and stuff then I have my lash curler and also some replacement pieces for it to replace this when it gets too dirty then this is my liquid shadows and my single pot shadows I have some brow pomade and a couple of tweezers and then these are lash serums to like make your eyelashes grow. I have a brow pencil, my favorite mascaras, and a couple of eyeliners are in there. This is my lip products drawer. So I have this pretty organized. So these are all bullet lipsticks. Then I've got some liquid lipsticks here, like in this section, and then all of this is lip gloss and then I have some chapstick and then my lip liners back up in there and some chapstick has also slid back into the back. This is my cheek products drawer. So you've got all of my face palettes plus my bronzer that's like really big. It's the Marc Jacobs bronzer. So it kind of takes up a lot of room so it stays right there. So I also have some highlighters over here. So I have my two favorites, the e.l.f. Um, what is it? Moonlight Pearls and the Becca Moonstone. They just look really good on my skin tone. So they stay there because I use them all the time. Then I have a couple of loose highlighters, um, a ColourPop one, some more highlight over here, this bronzer from Physicians Formula, liquid highlighter, and then some blush in here. Also, I have a mirror back there. Then in my eyeshadow palette drawer. I have it in a little acrylic container. Um, these are all of my smaller palettes. A lot of these are Anastasia. I have some Huda, a Dose of Colors palette, a ColourPop, another ColourPop that I made myself. Um, I have a Natasha Denona right here and a Morphe palette. Then I have my Huda Mini, my Jeffree Star palette, a NYX palette and several Morphe palettes up in there. This drawer has um, just some workout supplies, so some ankle weights and resistance bands. It's pretty empty, but sometimes I put regular weights in there. Um, and then the bottom drawer is very full, and it's Dixie's stuff. So this has all of her treats, her extra collars, her grooming supplies, um, and then this little bow that I bought for her for 4th of July. Then moving over from the desk is my closet. So if you've seen my closet declutter video, you know that it's quite drastic, but on the door I have a shoe hanging organizer. So I have all of my like tennis shoes or just closed toed shoes up there and then my little moccasins down at the bottom. 
in here we put in a custom closet whenever I moved here we like made it ourselves so in the middle I have these shelves so the top has some purses then I've got my like hair supplies so like scrunchies headbands claw clips all that then I have hats and then like beanies my socks go in this one and then down here I have this box that has like memory stuff in it and some of my skin towels and then over here I have two of these but one is kind of under there so you can't really see it but they have my sweaters these are actually the cases that the records that are on my wall came in and I have an idea for a DIY with them so I haven't thrown them out back this way I have some more shoes yes I know I have a lot of shoes but this is like all of my boots with the exception of these because I just got these and I'm taking them on vacation so um, I'm leaving like next week so I didn't want to put them under my bed yet but this is all of like my boots and if you don't already use something to put in like your tall boots I would highly suggest getting something to keep them standing because it keeps them from getting like creases then if you look up higher on the same side above the boots, I have my belts hung up on one of these that's from Bed Bath & Beyond. And then I do all of my pants hanging right here. And then I have dresses behind that. So this is like my taller hanging section. So right behind there, I have dresses organized by length and sleeve length. So like I have, you know, um, like spaghetti straps and then tank tops and then back to like short sleeves and long sleeves back there. And then I have a few coats in the back. Up above that is more room for purses. So I have a couple of those. And then way above that is just like storage. So I have some beach hats and then mostly just like bags are up there. Then if you go down, you've got my tops up here. So I have tank tops and these are color coordinated. So it's like white, gray, black. Um, tans and browns and then you've got some color I don't have a ton of colored tank tops that's why it looks mostly neutral and then it goes to short sleeves in the same type of order and then long sleeves the same way all the way back there then below that I have this shelf that I actually store my camera equipment on so I've got my Polaroid and my camera bag then I have some of my um, energy sticks that I use and then Below that is the last hanging area. So this has shorts and skirts. And then back further, you've got flannels and like um, like shirts that go over stuff, cardigans, jackets, and then more like thick jackets towards the back, and then some scarves. And that's pretty much my closet. So we'll close that up. Then behind my closet door, or like basically right here so when you open up the door it's kind of blocked but I have this world map on the wall and I hung it with these little rose gold push pins that came from that set that I showed you earlier moving over I have my dresser so this dresser is also from Wayfair and then my TV is hung up up here and I have these little lantern string lights strung up and I just used push pins to or actually I didn't use push pins I used command hooks to hang them up then on the surface of the dresser I have these um this little like jewelry tree that I got from Amazon and I just put all of the jewelry that I wear more often so I've got rose gold necklaces on this side silver and gold on that side I have Pura Vita bracelets on this side and then like non Pura Vita bracelets on this side then I have some hanging ear or like dangly earrings most of these are from Francesca's. I really enjoy their stores for earrings. And then I've got rose gold and gold rings and then silver rings over here. I have a Bath & Body Works candle in champagne toast. And I just really like the color of it too. And it smells amazing. This plant is from Target that I got shopping a little bit ago. Then I have a Bose sound bar and a Roku and then a DVD player hooked up back there. Also, I use these little, like, I don't even know what to call them, but they look kind of like a little spiraled snake. But they help to keep your cords together so it's not like a bunch of cords hanging down. So if you have that problem, that's a really good way to fix it. Then over here, I have this plant that was from At Home. This jar that was from, I think, Bed Bath & Beyond. 
and this candle that is also from Bath and Body Works. It's Cinnamon Spice Vanilla, which is one of my favorite scents. And then I just have a pair of sunglasses here that I've been wearing. They're just Vogue sunglasses that I've had for like six years. Now I'm going to show you what's in my drawers. So this top drawer is just like bras and underwear. Um, so I've got like sports bras, underwear, and then regular bras. And then below it, I have long sleeve shirts and then tank tops and then a little bit of extra t-shirts or tank tops that just didn't fit in the rows. Down below it, I have all of my t-shirts, which I know is a lot, but I just have a t-shirt collection so give me a break um i have a lot of them from like school or they're from the paws company which i like to support because they help homeless dogs so yeah then down here i have my sweatshirts most of these are just like comfy shirts that i wear pretty frequently these are like vintage disney ones i have a university of kentucky one and then just like some hoodies up over here is my shorts and leggings. So I've got Nike shorts and then like more fabric-y shorts here. Then I've got like my colored and patterned leggings and then just black leggings. Down here I have sweatpants. So I've got black sweatpants, gray sweatpants, and then colored sweatpants. And normally this is full, but there's two that are in the washer right now. Down here is my pajama tops. So I've got long sleeves and then a little bit of long sleeve here. And then these are short sleeves. And then that is a nightgown back there. And then I have pajama bottoms. So these over here are shorts. And then the rest of these are pants. I have a lot more pajama pants than anything else because I get cold. And last but not least, I have this set of lights, LED lights all around my room that are like the ones that change color and have lots of different settings. And those are just from Amazon. They were like the hardest thing to do in this entire room to get these hung up, but definitely worth it. I love the look of them. But yeah, so that is pretty much my entire room um, in detail. If you guys have any questions on why I made certain decisions, how things are organized, or you want a video about how to organize and like stay that way, let me know and I will be glad to do that. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up because it really helps me out. And also subscribe down below so you don't miss future videos from me. And hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye guys.